I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper on probability distribution. We'll discuss question number four in this particular video. It has four different parts and I've actually copied them and then we'll look into the solution of these. The question here is two boxes contained number cards three, four, five in box A and nine, ten, ten in box B. Two cards are drawn at random, one from each box. Write possible outcomes, that's part A. Let S be the sum of numbers on the two cards. Write down all possible values of S. Construct the probability distribution table of S and hence calculate the expected value of S. Anna plays a game where she wins $1.50 if S is even and loses $1.30 if S is odd, right? If it is odd. Anna plays the game 36 times. Find the amount she expects to have at the end of the game. So that's the question for you. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now let me solve this question on a separate sheet, right? So we'll continue looking at this question and then we'll solve um, on the side. Now the question here is that we have two boxes which contains cards. So let's say these are the boxes which we have. This is our box number one and that's the box number two. And they have cards. So in box number one, we have three, four, and five. These are the numbers on the cards, three, four, and five. In box number A, that is, right? So we'll call this as box A. And in box B, we have three cards, which are numbered as nine, 10, and 10, right? So these are the cards which we have. So, so let me show the cards like this. So they are, these are the cards which we have, right? So they, now we are drawing one card from each box, right? So we are drawing one card from each box. So two cards are drawn at random, right? Possible outcomes, right? So let us list all the possible outcomes. So uh, let me write down possible outcomes here. So if we draw, let us say three from here, we could draw nine, 10, 10 from the other, right? So we could have three, nine, that's one combination. We could have three, 10. We can again draw another 10, right? After all, there are three cards. We could draw four from the first A container, and then we could take, uh, sorry, we could take nine from the other one. We could have four, and 10, 4 and 10. We could have combinations with 5, 5, 9, 5, 10, and 5, 10, right? So these are all the possible outcomes. Is it okay? So that is part A, which is talking about all possible outcomes. And now part B is, let S be the sum of the numbers on the two cards. Write down all possible values of S, right? So that is this part B. So let's do part B here. So here, the random variable which we are deciding on is, it is a discrete random variable, is S for us, right? So what are the possible values for S? So the, for the S, the values are 3 plus 9, which is 12, 3 plus 10, which is 13. This is also 13. 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 4 plus 10 is 14, right? 5 plus 9, we have already taken care of as 14. 5 plus 10 is 15. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4. 
different values which our random variable s can take. Is that okay? So that is part B for us. Now part C is construct the probability distribution table of s and hence calculate expected value of s. Right. So uh, let's do that. So that is to say we'll write the values for for x which are 12, 13, 14 and 15 their probabilities and then we'll multiply them correct so that is how we are going to do it so let me do it here okay so we'll kind of do it here well, let's make a chart here so we have 12 13 14 so let me just uh, make 12 13 14 and 15 right so that will give us the values so let me write s the values could be 12 13, 14, and 15. And what is their probability? So probability of these will be for 12. So what sums do we get as 12? That is what we need to figure out, right? Total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So total possible combinations are 9. Out of them, how many total to 12, right so 9 plus 3 so this is the only value which which adds to 12 is that okay so it is 1 how about 13 so let's check that so this is 1 2 and 1 3 right 9 plus 4 is 13 so we get 3 here so we get 3 over 9 correct now let's look for 14 which is 10 plus 4, 10 plus 4, 9 plus 4. So we get 3 of them. So we get 3 out of 9. And these two will result into sum as 15. So we get 2 over 9. Now it is a good practice to just add and check your result. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, right? So we get 9 over 9, which is 1. And that ensures that's a random variable. Is that okay? So that part is clear. Now, what we can do is we can multiply them. So now we will multiply these two. So we'll do the x values. We can we should actually write uh, okay small s times p of s. Is that okay? So we'll just multiply these two. So we get twelve over nine. Thirteen times three over 9. So we'll keep 9 in the denominator so that it becomes easier for us to uh, add later on, right? So 3 times 3 is 9, 39 over 9, is it okay? And then 14 times 3, so it becomes 4 times 3 is 12, 2, 1, so it is 42 over 9, and 2 times 15, which is 30, right? So we get 30 over 9, correct? So that is what we get as their product, right? Now, when we want to write the expected value, it is sum of these, right? So the expected value for us is equal to sum of all this. Is that okay? So basically is equals to 12 plus 39 plus 42 plus 30 divided by 9 is it okay so add them up that is the expected value let's use the calculator and find this value all right so it is 12 plus 39 plus 42 plus 30 equals to 123 divided by 9 which is equals to so we'll divide by 9 it gives us in decimals 13.66 Okay, so that is the answer for us. So the expected value in this particular case is 13.66. Is it okay? So that is what is expected. Somewhere right in the middle. Okay, it makes sense. Now part four is Anna plays a game where she wins $1.50 if S is even and loses $1.30 if it is odd, right? Anna plays the game 36 times. Find the amount she expects to have at the end of the game, right? So in this particular scenario, 
we can see that the output could be dollar 30 or loss of 30 minus so we could take x value in this case well define the random variable in this case as plus 50 as a gain right so so let me make uh, another table to calculate so what we'll have here is okay so let's make these columns okay so in this particular case we have x as a gain of fifty dollars is it okay or a loss of thirty or a loss of thirty correct now when do you gain so if you read the question it says when s is even so when s is even then you gain right so so what is the probability of even this is what we have to check right so when it gains we have to check its probability so it will gain when it is even that means we are talking about this is it okay these two are even is it okay so that is when there is a gain now when is there a loss the loss is when it is odd right so the loss is for these two so these are the losses is it okay so let us write down their probabilities from here so the probability for gain is 1 over 9 plus 3 over 9 right so for the gain it is even numbers is it okay so the we will write probability here for even right so that is the prob probability i mean probability for favorable in this case it is even right so it is probability for 12 or 14 is it okay so which is sum of these two right so which is equals to 1 over 9 plus 3 over 9 which is 4 over 9 does it make sense and for the losses we have to add the probabilities for the odd numbers which is 13 and 15 and their probabilities is 3 over 9 uh, I mean 3 over 9 plus 2 over 9 plus 2 over 9 so that is for 13 and 15 right so that is their probability now when you add this up you get 5 over 9 so that is their losses now in this particular case the expectation here is when you multiply this by that you get an expectation so let me add another column or we'll do it separately okay or we can just add them here that is to say x times p of x we are going to multiply these 50 times this and minus 30 times that is that okay and then we'll add this up right so so we have 50 times 4 over 9 this is positive and we have here minus 30 times 5 over 9 correct so the expectation for each game is let's add this up right we'll add this up so the expectation is equals to 200 over 9 which is 50 times 4 minus 150 over 9 right so that is 50 over 9 right so this is the expectation for one game right now Anna plays 36 games so this is for one game this is per game right so expectation for 36 games is how much 36 times this so 50 over 9 times 36 is that okay so that will be for 36 games right let's look into the question it says Anna plays the game 36 times find the amount she expects to have at the end of the game right so let's continue so what we get here is 
50 over 9 times 36 so that goes 4 times we get 4 times 200 which is 4 times 500 which is 200 dollars right so our answer is 200 dollars is it okay so that is how you could actually solve this question i like you to look into the solution once again try to understand how we have done it it will really help you so the question here is there are two boxes which contains cards 3 4 5 in box a 9 10 10 in box b we need to find from this the expectation of combination of these right and then the question here finally was Anna plays a game where she wins dollar fifty if s is even and loses dollar thirty if it is odd. Anna plays the game thirty six times. Find the amount she expects to have at the end of the game. Right? Since we found that even numbers had probability, even numbers are twelve and fourteen here, one over nine and three over nine, they add up to four over nine times fifty dollars for even numbers and odd numbers were thirteen and fifteen with probabilities of three over nine and two over nine there's some being five over nine so when you multiply that by minus thirty you get minus one fifty now when you add them up you get fifty over nine per game since she played thirty six games they should be multiplied by thirty six to get the answer as two hundred dollars I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.